checking out this channel if you like the book of personal my information is in the description below there's too many but i see a realization in the third eye chakra so you could be realizing something that is not in plain sight okay you could be realizing something about two or three people that you work with okay this could be something that you don't care for okay yeah and you're healing from all right, so third eye chakra came out twice, so we're going to take that. All right, so you're opening up your third eye. You're beginning to see things for what it is. That's what I'm hearing here. Conception. Okay, number six and number 16. 111 on this clock. And then prosperity at the bottom of this deck. Okay, so like I said, if you're new to this channel, this is a general message. It may not resonate with everybody, but if it resonates with you, hit that thumbs up. Hit that bell. And subscribe. Okay. So, what I'm getting here is your third eye chakra is opening up. And so, this is uh, creating a tunnel vision. That's what I'm hearing here. And a tunnel vision is basically you and what you're focused on and who you're focused on okay i feel like if you're focusing on something specific you're manifesting exactly that if you don't know what you're focusing on you're manifesting exactly that okay so right now it's important to focus and to use your intuition okay because your intuition is your inner knowing and this is what's going to guide you um through your imagination okay and through your manifestation 233 on this clock the frequency of the third eye chakra the indigo flower of life supports our intuition okay and our inner knowing our imagination and our psychic powers third eye chakra so this is what's happening right now most high is showing you things that are not in plain sight about people who are not um honest to you okay because you are creating something new that has infinite potential and possibilities and you're manifesting things through focus and awareness okay this is what this is saying Conception. The frequency of conception invites us to bring our con consciousness to our origin, the place where everything in creation begins. It helps us to remember the infinite potential and possibilities of this space and what we can manifest through our own focus, awareness, and intention. And that's exactly what you're doing. Okay? And this is bringing prosperity into your life. This is bringing prosperity into your life, okay? The frequency of prosperity supports our feeling of well-being by allowing the inclusion of everything that makes our body, mind, heart, and soul, and spirit sick. It invites us to express ourselves in joy and celebration of the abundance and riches that the universe provides. So right now, whoever's watching this video, this is what you're focusing on. This is your perception, okay? And look, this is for divine masculine. So yes, this message is for divine masculine. Have discernment because change is happening. And look at the realization. So this is your realization that things are changing. Um, allow this change to take place, okay? Because divine masculine, 2022, that's this year, right? Most High has something big for you. 
That's what I'm hearing here. Most I have something big for you. So we're, this is for Divine Masculine, okay? Which I had a feeling for anyway because the message that I did yesterday was for Divine Feminine. And if you didn't go check that message out, you might want to go check that out, okay? So, right now, the masculine energy is being shown things that are not in plain sight. I just keep hearing that. Okay, so you're being shown things from a higher dimension or from a higher perspective, most I is telling me. We're going to post something else for this. Okay, if this message is resonating with you so far, hit that thumbs up, hit that bell, and subscribe. Comment down below to enter that July giveaway. All right, let's see what the shapeshifter oracle has for a divine masculine for today. I'm seeing a, um, a lot of balance, look, a twist, a twist in the tail, the unexpected, a change you did not see coming, number 34. So you could be a masculine that's 34 years old, or you could be... Um, or you could be um, someone who is trying to change. That's what I'm hearing here. Okay? 34 and 43. Someone could be doing mirror magic on you. Okay? 34 and 43. Do y'all see that? This is like mirroring numbers. 34 and 43. And you see how this is dark and this is white? Yes, somebody could be trying to alter, that's what I'm hearing here, by using an alter, okay, your Akashic records, all right? The Akashic libraries are open, 43. So, Divine Masculine, somebody could be trying to alter your um, destiny, okay, by magic and sorcery. That's what I'm hearing here. Because they want to tap into your third eye chakra and your crown chakra. 2022. Okay? Because you are moving towards prosperity. Alright? Soon and very soon. That's what I'm hearing here. Alright, so let's see. Let's see what else we have here. We're going to pull one from here. Once I said, no, don't get one from him. That's okay. Look, denial, though. Denial. So, Divine Masculine, you could be in denial about a situation. Okay, this could be a situation dealing with another female, or this could just be a situation about your money. All right? You need to have the spirit of discernment when it comes to whoever you're dealing with around money or when with whoever you're dealing with around... Um... um your children i heard that as well i'm hearing your children okay because there's something about you manifesting um something through your imagination and someone's trying to block your imagination okay someone's trying to block your imagination and block your thoughts but it's an unexpected change coming that you know some nobody sees you don't even see this Clarify the third eye chakra, Archangel Michael. Protect us as we look into this energy for divine masculine. Third eye chakra. Ten of pentacles. Okay. So most I is trying to um, give you some ideas to create stable. <clears throat> I'm hearing stable abundance for your legacy. Okay. Yeah. Two of cups. This is your soulmate, but something is in the dark or there's some type of fear here okay fear of being hurt so um mosai is trying to give you the ideas to create infinite security and wealth and prosperity but there's somebody around you that is going against this by trying to do magic on you because they feel hurt this could be a Pisces, or this could be a Cancer, or this could be a Aries, or a Sag, or a Leo. That's what I'm seeing here. Yeah, because look, 
See, your Ace of Cups. Because you could have a new opportunity in love. Yes, and somebody does not want you to have this because they don't want you to work with this person because this is your wish fulfillment. Okay, I feel like this person could help your dreams come true. That's what I'm hearing here. But somebody wants you to be in a tower moment, divine masculine. Okay, that's what I'm seeing here. And that's why Most High is telling you to stay balanced and harmonized when it comes to your third eye chakra. Okay, because there's somebody that wants you to have a tower. All right, a powerful realization. Didn't I say that was the tower at the beginning? Yes, I did. So, Most High, why did you show us the Ten of Pentacles, the Twist of the Tail, the Moon, and the Two of Cups? Why did you show us this? constancy because somebody wants to because divine masculine most i want you to be consistent okay and not in no third party okay this one that's in this red 11 11 this is your twin flame this is the one that most i want you to be with two of cups okay yeah but instead i feel like you've been doing this pleasure seeking 11.22 on this clock. And that's probably the secrets that you have, Divine Masculine. So, Most High, why did you show us this conception? Why did you show us the conception for Divine Masculine? Six. Another six. So, you got six right here, and you had six of cups right here. And what popped out? Okay, somebody, an Aries, or you could be an Aries, Divine Masculine. You want to take a leap. A faith towards someone that you want to work things out with. And look, another six right here. Six of, six of wands. Okay? You want to work it out with somebody from your past. Eight of pentacles and nine of pentacles. Because this person is abundant and hardworking and independent. 12, 12 on this clock. And you see that this person is victorious and successful. And they have the will of fortune turned in their favor. So now they're taking the leap of faith. 1222. This could have been your twin flame, 44. And you wish you had a sexual opportunity with this person, Divine Masculine, because you're watching this person. But they had 1234 on this clock. They have their boundaries up towards you, okay? Most I said that's a guarantee. They surely do. They have their boundaries up towards you, Divine Masculine, because they feel like um, they're brokenhearted. They're brokenhearted because of the secrets that you kept from them or because of the fear of coming towards them. That's what I'm seeing here. So that's why they have their guards up towards you, even though you want to take a leap of faith towards this person from your past. You feel burdened because of the sneaky stuff that you did or that was done 1313 13, behind this person's back when it came to you and now you want a new opportunity but this tower you have to go through this tower you have to go to to go through that's what i'm seeing here okay but most i want you to know that um this person from your past right here was sent to you by the divine they was divine masculine so why did you show us divine masculine this could have been a pisces cancer scorpio yeah look the world card okay you in a new cycle divine masculine you're in a whole brand new cycle most i just wanted to bless you here Most I said, that's a guarantee but first you need to let go of somebody you holding on to four of pentacles Okay, this is somebody from your past. Yes, look, the magician, because somebody is doing magic. 1415, they sending this towards you so that you can be brokenhearted, divine masculine. Okay, they sending magic, eight of wands, towards you, nine of wands, eight and nine. Eight and one is nine, and I already showed you that. So you can feel wounded and brokenhearted, all right, divine masculine. This is what somebody's doing towards you, okay? Because they want you to be suffering in silence while you're waiting on this person from your path. That's why they're doing magic on you, too. 
sending the magic towards you. So we're going to clarify that. So you can feel broken hearted. But in the future, you're going to be using your discernment. Think I'm playing. Because your spirit guides is going to be guiding you, okay? And protecting you. So that you can't look divine masculine. The lover. This is you. Mm-hmm. Because this is the person, the foe is the one that's doing the magic on you. And this is the person that Mosai wants you to be with. Okay? A person that is very intelligent and wealthy and fortunate. All right? So there you have it. This, this is the person that's doing the magic on you, masculine. The foe. And this is the person that's telling you about it. The old woman. Okay? A.K.A. this one. The one I already showed you at the beginning. The one from your past. You know who this is. Comment down below if this is resonating with you. Because we're getting ready to get up out of here. Discernment. So now most I want you to have discernment in this situation. Okay? Divine masculine. When it comes to your prosperity. And to this person from your past. And this new person. See? Most I said they're going to illuminate anything that's done in the dark. Point blank period. See? The hermit card. You need to meditate, most I said. Meditate because they're going to illuminate. And this person wants you to be burdened. Ten of Wands. Most I said meditate so that you're not in a conflict when it comes to working it out with this person. Okay? Because somebody still wants you to feel burdened about working out of something with somebody else. Okay? Because you're going through karma right now for some of you. Because you feel hurt. Nine of Wands. And I just show y'all that when it comes to taking action on somebody. Three of Wands. And I already showed you the Three of Swords because you broken hearted over this person. So use your spirit of discernment when it comes to this person. Why show us the Five of Wands, the Sun, and the Hermit for the, um, for the discernment? Mm -hmm. Discern between what's real and what's fake now, Divine Masculine. Somebody is real, a servant of God. Somebody is not. They're false. Okay? Somebody is very stable, 1717. And you want to reunite with this person. Okay? This could be the person from your past, but somebody is doing magic. Okay? They doing evil spells so that you do not reunite with this person. This is somebody that divine masculine. You had got pregnant. Okay, when you already had a wife and a child. You know who this is. Okay. You cannot be stopped, regardless of whether this person wants to cause conflict in your life or not, most I said. Okay, because you um you gonna be happy and most high is giving you the spirit of discernment and prosperity. So for divine masculine, why did you show us prosperity most high before we get up out of here? Yeah. Because this, this could be a Gemini that wants you to be in regret and despair if you're a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. If not, this is, um, Most High is telling you not to be in regret and despair over this love situation. Look, the devil right here. Because somebody wants you to be bound to a toxic situation. Okay? But you're moving away from this because you're thinking about how you was juggling. Okay? Divine masculine. And your perception is changing. And I already showed y'all that perception, right? So why, most high, why, yeah, because of this magic, I'm telling you. Because you was under dark magic. You were under some dark spells or something. But now you're not. Most high is releasing you from that and opening your third eye, blessing you with prosperity. See, this is this is what I'm talking about. Dark orca magic. This is some orca magic. This could have been done by a water sign to a water sign or could have been done to a water sign by an air sign. Capricorn here. We got Capricorn moon coming, don't we? Yes, we do. Yeah, somebody was trying to steal from you. Steal from your Akashic Records, Divine Masculine. All right? Yeah. And you knew that. And you knew that. Look, and you was thinking about that, just like I said. So this has been revealed to you, Divine Masculine. Okay? This is a false person that be around you, coming to your house and whatnot. Okay? This person that also had a child by you but didn't keep it. That's what I'm saying here. 
Okay, so before we go, let's just pull a couple of these. Most I is telling you, continue to move away from chaos and confusion, six of swords. Okay? And um, most I wants you to think about all these options that you had. All right? Think about all these options that you have because somebody is definitely uh, trying to steal from you. Make a schedule. Make 2020, most I said, make a schedule. This person, somebody has brown eyes. Okay? Anything else for Devon Masculine before we go? Make a schedule, most I said, because he's going to tell you what to do and where to go. An air sign. Okay? An air sign. Wow. This says a coven. Okay, so this is somebody that is in a coven, Divine Masculine, an air sign. Okay, things you might not know. Happy endings, things you might not know. Okay, about your girlfriend. This could have been up to nine months ago. All right, somebody could have freckles. This is your karmic flame. And they could be from the north. And you could be in the south. 21 21 on this clock most i said okay so take what resonates and leave the rest somebody could also live across the water and had sleepovers with you too that's what i'm saying here so let's put some analogy and we're gonna get out of here analogy for divine masculine what is the overall outcome of the situation most i said meditate and contemplate normal and pisces Step out of your comfort zone. North node. And at the bottom of the deck, adjustments are required. Third quarter moon. So, you need to balance out. Reconsider divine masculine when it comes to this person. Be assertive as well. Take that mask off. And last but not least. Let's see if we can get one foot to pop. Angel answers. The situation will improve. In the near future. So I will see you in my new message, Divine Masculine. I hope that you um, resonated with this. If you like to book a personal, my information is below. And if you like to enter into the July giveaway, all you have to do is leave a kind comment below. See you in my next video. Peace.